Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Today we will discuss the fourth and fifth style of enzyme regulation. We are discussing the topic enzyme regulation and this topic has been divided into small parts. Part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. Today we will discuss part 4 and 5 means how enzymes are regulated in our body in different ways in every in, in the beginning of every lecture of this enzyme regulation series i revise the idea that what is enzyme regulation enzyme regulation is that when inside our body we, when the body require the enzyme then the enzyme should there enzyme should be present in our body enzyme should start working when the body require and when the body don't require any product the enzyme should not be there the enzyme should stop their function this is called control of enzyme this is called regulation of enzyme I mean inside our body there must be something to control the enzyme activity so we saw in different ways enzymes are being regulated these two are one of them so maybe the last part we will discuss in the next video compartmentation is also the part of enzyme regulation this is very necessary for me to tell you in compartmentation this is actually economical process if I just mention here that this is economy yes I have already mentioned this word economy uh, in order to explain this uh, let me draw this diagram like this this is your cell and inside the cell you have mitochondria okay so here I'm just going to draw something for you that is Suppose inside your cell, uh, there are some substances that you want to prepare. Let's suppose A is something and B is something else. And these two are combining with each other to get C. Here, we can see that something is synthesizing. C is being synthesized. Right. And we also want this C once its role is finished we also want in another reaction that this C is converted back into something else like A plus B this is called degradation this is called with what degradation degradation degraded C is uh, broken down in, in simple word degrade means to break down right and here what is going on here something is synthesizing right A plus B so there are two process inside our cell uh, synthesizing and degradation and these two are very necessary inside the cell uh, but these two process cannot occur simultaneously uh, here inside the cell why because uh, if you see here if there is one enzyme E1 that is synthesizing C if there is another enzyme E2 that is degrading C if both the two enzymes are present here both enzyme then this enzyme will disturb this enzyme means this enzyme will start degrading this product C and we want uh, we, we, we should not allow this enzyme to act on C and degrade okay similarly uh, another problem can also occur that if a plus B is being uh, combined to get C and your enzyme E2 is also present and this will degrade C and we don't want this now in order to prevent this problem 
uh, we will bring some economy means we will make a compartment not we will make but our body has a compartment a compartment just means just room like structure okay this is one compartment there this is a membrane this is what this is a membrane right and and this is another compartment now in compartmentation one of the process means synthesizing process is carried out and in another compartment the degradation is carried out now these two pathways will not be disturbed by these enzymes so that is why uh, fatty acid let's like now i would like to give the example of fatty acids fatty acid if i write here fatty acids fatty acid they are being synthesized in cytoplasm cytoplasm this is the cytoplasm of the cell suppose this is your fatty acid long chain fatty acid okay then and here you have the mitochondria this is your mitochondria right this is your mitochondria and this long chain fatty acid will enter here in the mitochondria in here it will be degraded means be oxidation okay fine here it will be degraded so this is degradation process so degradation is done in the mitochondria and synthesis is done in the cytoplasm so this is compartment and this is another compartment so that is why it is done for the economy purpose the fifth one is enzyme degradation some of the enzymes in body are simply degraded i already told you degrade means to break down here the degrade word was used for the substrate means some substrate was uh, degrading here but here the enzyme is simply uh, broken down just to stop the activity for example we have uh, this this just simple diagram this is an enzyme this is a, and it is working for us inside our body this enzyme is doing something it has its function and when our body realizes that we don't need this enzyme any further so this enzyme is simply broken uh, it, it will be simply broken down right into pieces and different enzymes are broken down in different rates some enzyme are being broken down uh, to its half concentration in five to six days and some other enzymes are being broken down to its half concentration in three to five hours what do you mean by its half concentration suppose you have one two three four five six seven eight enzyme right total eight enzyme you have and how much time will be required to degrade half of means to degrade four enzyme then this time is called as a half life so every enzyme that is degraded in our body has its own half life some of the enzymes are degraded and they take five to six days means uh, to reach to its half concentration and some enzyme require three to five hours so that is the example of amylase enzyme and its half life is very short means three to five hours if you have hundred uh, amylase enzyme after three to five hours uh, the enzyme concentration will reduce to 50 right so this is a, a, another way of uh, enzyme regulation and we have discussed almost now five different styles of enzyme degradation in the next part maybe we will discuss the last part of enzyme degradation so see you in the next video thank you bye bye